Our team coverage takes us now to News 2's Cade Prezdak and Cade. Local leaders had an emergency meeting today. They're discussing some legislation they want to work on to make sure this never happens again. Katie, that's right, and legislators say that ultimately the entire system failed Jamal Sutherland, and once again, they're working to fix that. Now, some of the things that legislators are pushing for in legislation include the use of any weapons on those mentally or physically ill or challenged, more diversity on teams inside of the jails, more funding for mental health resources and organizations that serve the Tri-County and transportation. Representative Moore says he's already working on funding to help those mental health problems until the legislation goes back into session. Talking about some of these mobile crisis units, talking about adding more funding to mental health, so stuff that we can do now in the interim uh, to handle from a funding standpoint. But yeah, there's definitely going to need to be uh, community involvement. Meetings like this with more community uh, stakeholders. There's a lot of work that we can do, uh, not just for, not only for justice for Jamal, but for a system and for people that too often are being uh, this killed, uh, quite frankly, by law enforcement. If and when a community stakeholder meeting is held, we'll be sure to update you both on air and online at countonto.com. For now live in Mount Pleasant, I'm Kate Prestack, Count on 2.